I'm going to paraphrase the Arabic portion of Khutbah. Indeed, all praises to God Almighty. We praise Him, we ask for His help, we seek refuge in Him from our inner soul, from our bad deeds. Whomsoever God Almighty guides, no one can stray. Whomsoever He does not guide, no one can guide. I bear witness, no one is worthy of worship except God Almighty alone. Muhammad's Messenger, Salah, and peace and blessing upon him and his followers. 
For believers have a conscious awareness of God, die not except total submission to God Almighty. For mankind have a conscious awareness of God, He has created you from a single soul, from that soul He made many pairs, especially be dutiful to those whom you have mutual rights. Indeed, God is all watching. For believers have a conscious awareness of God, speak nothing but truth so you can rectify your deeds, you can forgive your sins. Best among you is follow God Almighty. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sallam as well. For today's khutbah, I have chosen an ayah, Surah al Imran, Surah number 3, verse number 119. We have heard this ayah many times. Hold tight, steadfast in the path of Allah. Hold on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is Quran, Haqq, and do not create divisions. So, inshallah, in today's khutbah, I'll briefly talk in the context of this ayah. The symptom, the disease the Muslim Ummah has. The disease of exclusion, us versus them, their outsider. And we need to cure the disease with the message of love, harmony, and inclusion. We all are one. Under humanity, we are one. And as a Muslim brother and sister, we are one family. So the symptom of exclusion, inshallah, that should not be part and parcel of our faith, our practice, our life, none whatsoever. So inshallah ta'ala I will talk and give a few examples, reminder for myself and all of us from Quran, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa life and Ali radiallahu ta'ala and for his life as well, time permitting. <coughs> but before I proceed, I just want to make a quick announcement. We have a mother here in the audience. She's not a regular attendee of this masjid. She came from I mean, Salem County, New Jersey. Her only son, 23 year old, died in accident. So she's here in the masjid. I will plead you to make dua for the deceased, make dua for the family, and especially sisters, please talk with this sister as well. The father of deceased is not in, in the United States. So therefore, the mother is the one who took care of all the funeral and everything, and she's here. She contacted this masjid, and masjid is arranging a program on this Sunday between Zohar and Asr. Is that correct? Between Zohar and Asr? Between Zohar and Asr, uh, this masjid will have a program for the deceased. So please participate, join, help and assist this family, reflect upon yourself that, you know, are we prepared to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So the one who passed away, may Allah give him jannah for those. Amen. Those who are alive, may Allah guide us. Those who are coming after us, may Allah make sadqa jahariya. Ameen. Summa amin. Ya Rabbul Alameen.